Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. In my workflow, I'm a big fan of the XMP sidecar files. The sidecar files store all of the metadata and edits that I've made to an image, which I like because when I go to archive my images, I like to just drag and drop the folder that has my images onto my network drive. By using the XMP sidecar files, when I do that, all of my changes go along with my original files, so it makes it easy for me to keep my workflow organized. I wrote a post a while back talking about what wasn't stored in the XMP files. One of the big items was history. The XMP file only stores the final values of all of the sliders, but not the history of each change or the order that the changes were made. For the most part, I'm okay with losing the history because I only care about the final, uh, the final version of the image, uh, but it's just something to be aware about when you're using the XMP files. Another item not stored in the XMP files are the virtual copies. And I like using virtual copies in Lightroom because I can process uh, an image multiple ways without needing to make a physical copy of each uh, of the original image that I'm, that I'm processing. Virtual copies are only stored in the Lightroom catalog though, so if I move my image without exporting it from Lightroom, I would lose my virtual copy. Uh, so this is the case with the XMP files. If I save my changes to an XMP file and move my original image and the XMP file outside of the Lightroom catalog, only the final version of the original image is stored in the XMP file, so anything that I did in a virtual copy is lost. One thing that is stored in the XMP sidecar files, though, are snapshots. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use snapshots to store the final versions of your virtual copies inside your XMP file. So here I've got an image that I've processed in color. So I'm going to go ahead and create a virtual copy of this image by hitting command and the apostrophe. And as you can see down here now I've got the original image and I've got a copy. So for this copy we're just going to go ahead and do a quick black and white to show something uh, that's different enough process where you can tell it's a different image. So here you go. So here's the black and white virtual copy and here's the original. So if I went ahead and stored my metadata now in the sidecar file, it would only store the modifications that I've made to this color image. Anything that I did to my virtual copy would be lost. I mentioned though that the XMP file does store the snapshots. So one way to uh, work around the lack of virtual copies in the XMP files would be to create snapshots for each of these versions of the image, which I'm going to do now by holding down command and hitting the letter N. So I'm going to create one snapshot, that is my color, and then I'm going to go ahead and go over to the black and white version and do the same thing, command N, and I'm going to create a new snapshot called black and white. So you might notice that when I switch between my original image and my, uh, my virtual copy, that the snapshots show up for both. And this is important because it shows that when I do save my XMP file, uh, both snapshots are going to be stored to the XMP file, uh, which is the sort of critical step for being able to, uh, to track the virtual copy version of this image outside of Lightroom. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and save my metadata changes to the sidecar file. And I'm going to do this by using the shortcut command S. And uh, you're going to get this little warning that comes up, um, which you can choose to not show again, and then I'm going to click on continue. And now Lightroom has stored the metadata changes that I've made, uh, which includes the snapshots to the sidecar file. What I'm going to do now is open up an empty catalog that I've created and I'm going to add in the folder that has the image that I just processed along with the XMP sidecar file. Quick tip while we're doing this, when you've got Lightroom set up like this on the Mac, if you want it to maximize in the current window, hold down Shift and then hit the green plus and it'll take up the whole window. It's a free tip. Enjoy. So what I'm going to do now is add in the folder that has the raw file and the sidecar file. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just import it. And when I pull up this image in the develop module, you'll see that those two snapshots that I created are there. So even though I process this black and white image as a virtual copy, I can recreate it just by using the information that's now stored as a snapshot in my XMP sidecar file. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, be sure to follow me over on Twitter and remember to sign up for the mailing list to get exclusive content and a free ebook. As always, for more, check us out over at lightroomfanatic.com.